Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try Against the Wind by Bob Seger. G. Just need a G chord for the intro while the piano's doing that little thing. And it's just uh, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down. Do that like four times, four measures of that. The G chord is the uh, uh, sixth string, third fret, fifth string, second, first and second string at the third fret. Uh, but any G chord. So there you got, that's your intro. Uh, then when the words start, uh, the verse starts. The verse is a G twice, and then a B minor, felt himself alone twice. C slash G once to a G, and then D once, and then the C slash G once. G twice, and then a B minor twice. C slash G once to a G. C slash G once to a D twice. Okay? So, let's go over some of those chords. B minor, you're going to have to borrow the second fret, the top five strings. Second string, third fret, fourth and third string at the fourth fret. I lean up into that sixth string with the tip of this finger and I mute it. Um, you can play it if you want, it doesn't matter. Um, just don't play it open, that, that won't work. That's your B minor. Sorry, there's a bar chord in this song. And um, so that's your B minor. Then you're going to have a C chord. You can do a regular C chord if you want. So don't wig out if you can't do this chord or if it's just troubling you and it's just too much. Uh, if, you, if you really want to play the song and you can do bar chords um, and C chords, what you want to do, that's fine. But what, uh, what they're playing in the song is uh, second string, first fret, fourth string, second fret. And then what he does is he adds a note underneath the C, so it's um, the 6th string and the 5th string at the 3rd fret. So it's a C slash G. So you're taking a C chord and you're just adding a note. That's what a slash chord is. So you got C slash. That tells the piano or the guitar player that this is the note that's underneath. It's the bass note. So there's my G right there. I'm just adding that to my C chord, okay? So you have bigger, thicker sound, okay? But, like I said, regular C chord will do. Alright, then you need a D chord, 3rd string, and 1st string, 2nd fret, 2nd string, 3rd fret. You know, we're going to kill that 6th string, please. And that's it for this section. So, same strum. We got down, down, up, up, down, up. We're going to do it twice on a G. B minor, felt myself alone. And uh, Janie was the queen of his night. So, C slash G. This one we're only going to do once, then G once, and then D one pattern, and then the C slash G again. Back to G twice, B minor twice, C slash G once, to a G once, C slash G again, to the D twice. Right into the pre-chorus, it's an E minor to D, to the G. C slash G to the G. E minor to D, the C slash G twice. And then a D one time. That's your pre chorus. So we changed some things. Uh, let's give you the chords first. Uh, the only new chord you need is E minor. So fifth string and fourth string uh, at the second fret. Now I actually played it with my two and three fingers like this. And I realized as I was playing it, what a mistake that was. So you can play it that way if you want, if you can make the changes. But it's easier if you use your one and two fingers here um, to get used to it for, for part of it anyway. Part of the chorus works better this way, and you'll see what I mean in a moment. So, so you got E minor, fifth string and fourth string, second fret. And that's your new chord. And we're going to change our strum. So some of the chords are going to be closer together. We're going to call this the shortest strum. So it's down, down, up, and that's all it is. So down, down, up. Then you go to the D, same thing. Then you're back to the G is the long pattern. And then here it is, the E minor, short pattern, down, down, up. Then the C slash G, down, down, up is the short pattern. And then the G is the long pattern. E minor short, E short. And then the C slash G is two full long patterns. And then a D is one long pattern. Okay? And that's your pre-chorus. 
And what I was talking about with that E minor is like when it goes to the C slash G, which is one of the harder chords in the song, if you do this with your one and two, your E minor, and you have to go to C slash G, you can pivot on that middle finger right there. So that becomes easier. Okay? So that was your, um, I don't know what the words are in this section, what is it? And I remember what she said to me, so. And I remember what she said to me. How she swore she would never leave. Got that great line that I could never remember. Wish I didn't know now what I didn't know that. What I did. Wish I did. <laughs> wish I didn't know now what I didn't know then. Um, which is great. All right, and then you got your chorus coming up. That's a G against the wind. It's a B minor, C slash G. He was running against the G, and then C slash G to B minor to A minor to C slash G and then G. Okay, so new chord is A minor, fourth string, third string, second fret, second string, first fret. Okay, that's your A minor chord. So this section is a long pattern on G, again, and then it's B minor for a long pattern, then the C slash G for a long pattern, and then the G for a long pattern. Now we're going to come up to a short pattern. C slash G short, B minor short, A minor short, C slash G short, and then G is long pattern four times. And that is your chords. The first two anyway. Okay, so at this point in the song we should talk about you got your intro, you got your verse, a pre-chorus, and then your chorus. Then we go back and we do another verse then another pre-chorus, then another chorus, then there's that piano solo, but for the guitarist, um, it's just the verse, it's just the chords to the verse. So that's all you have to play, and then you do the pre-chorus again, um, and then, now this time you're going to do the last chorus, where I'm calling it chorus three. There is a link, you can see me looking over to my left all the time. So I'm looking at it, and you can, uh, you can look at my work, the chords are on there and all, everything's boxed in and all the strum patterns, all that stuff. So uh, you can download that and, and look at it. So, um, so the chorus three, uh, here we go. So this chorus three, it leads right into the outro um, and it's the end of the song. So it's uh, against, the, it's the G chord. Against the B minor, C slash G. He was running against the G. Now the C slash G minor to the A minor to the C slash G to the G twice. Yes, he's C slash G to the B minor to the D twice. Against the C slash G twice to the G twice. C slash G to the G twice. And that's it for the chorus and at least right to the outro is just C slash G, let the cowboys ride to the G. Your last chorus, chorus three, and then it leads right to the outro. The outro goes, just does those chords like eight times in a row and fades out. Uh, end on a G chord if you need to. If you need to end it. So let's go over chorus three a um, little bit better. So it's like G for one pattern against the wind is B minor, C slash G to a G. Here's the short patterns: C slash G, B minor. A minor, C slash G, back to the G long pattern, twice. Back to the short pattern, C slash G, B minor, to a D long pattern, twice. C slash G, for twice, G for twice, and you're basically off and running at this point. Just like those cowboys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, hit the like button. Play more Bob Seeger.